BC's public sector uses a lot of energy. The more energy, the bigger the carbon footprint and the bigger the cost to taxpayers and the environment. BC's commitment to a carbon neutral public sector is changing that. We're measuring our footprint, taking action to reduce it and integrating sustainability into everyday operations. Pretty amazing, right? We think so too. Here's how it's done. The Vancouver School District is probably one of the oldest, largest and most multicultural school district uh, one could find in the province. There are 109 schools and approximately 55, 56,000 students. The school district is K-12. One of the biggest challenges we face is the size and scale of our organization. We are over 10,000 employees. We have schools that are over 75 years old. The opportunity that this presents actually is for us to look at all our resources, reducing our carbon footprint, energy footprint, our water consumption, reducing waste, reducing our paper consumption to manage those resources efficiently. We want to be a model of sustainability for other schools, other organizations in our community. Vancouver School District made it onto BC Hydro's top 10 ranking for the last two years in a row and we're very proud of this. Whenever we try to build new schools, we do our best to build as green as possible. Charles Tupper Secondary has a solar PV, solar photovoltaic system, as well as solar thermal panels on the roof, generating electricity and hot water for the school. Charles Dickens Elementary with a geo-exchange system in place. That's one of our newer schools. Windermere Secondary is another school that has a very active community engaged in gardening and composting. Most of the programs saved us close to half a million dollars and in fact that's a conservative estimate. Sustainability requires a whole systems approach. Technology alone will not solve the problem. It's about engagement and having behavior change as part of your solution. Working with the Center for Interactive Research and Sustainability up at UBC, which actually happens to be the greenest building in North America, I'm taking 50 to 75 of our students to this uh, facility to engage with the researchers. They'll get to see solar energy systems, how green roofs work, how heat can be extracted from the ground, to reduce the energy consumption. The students will also be exposed to the notion of the green economy because this is really the future.